So today I've got this thing. This is a sponsorship item from PC Way. They gave it to me at no cost, but I think you might actually enjoy having a look at this thing. Let's have a look. Don't forget to check out links down below to go and check this out. I did do a little teaser video just showing this thing coming up. You may not have seen it. So this is actually a clock which has got a IPS type screen set up on it. And you can actually choose different digits on it. And there's lots of different ones you can use. Oh, there's just Chinese and English on that side. Menus and stuff in it as well, which you can actually go through on our displays. It's pretty cool. So it's an RGB glow tube clock IPS. I think this is a clone of another one. There's a Elex tube, E-L-E-K-S tube, Elex tube version, which looks basically the same. So I think this is like a clone of that. So that's that part. In here we've got the little covers that go over the top. Let's pull the phone out. Pull that out. It's all really nicely packaged. And as I showed in the teaser video, we've also got a bunch of these displays which you have to plug in. We've got a USB power supply. This is not the correct type for my country, but it might. I can plug it in somewhere else. And we've got a USB-C, the USB-A connection there. And the little covers that go over the top. The Alex Tube one's got a different logo and stuff up here, but the layout looks identical, from what I can remember anyway. Got some push buttons up here to change things, and that's what's on the bottom. Interestingly, there's the USB-C connection there, nothing on the other end. Should we open this up and have a look inside it first before we put anything else? I think we should. So this is 2.5mm hexagonal bit. I'm guessing I'm going to take the end off and it will slide out, so I'm guessing anyway. I should find out, won't we? These will just pull out like this. There you go. And there's nothing to see on the back there. Just plain PCB. Nothing to see. It's all on the top. Let's put it back in. But what I do like is that there is actually a gap inside here, so which means, because this has only got this relatively small clock battery on here, this will be used for the RTC, the real time clock. So if you lose power, it will still remember the taking time until it returns power again, potentially anyway. That's what I believe that before. Could be settings. I doubt it though. That's unlikely to be settings. Usually RTCs. But there's a gap in here. If you're in a situation where you have uh, lots of power outages and stuff like, like I tend to get here, you may want to actually upgrade that battery to be a bigger one. And because you've got this space inside here, there's actually space to put a bigger battery underneath inside the unit and beef it up a bit if you needed to. It's pretty small battery. It's in there now. That's the curiosity dealt with. Let's assemble it. So this is the extent of the extending instructions. The screen is facing the battery. Insert into the socket and the power it on. That's the instructions for assembly. So the battery is there, so the screen's face this way. Simple enough. And there's the screen assembly, tiny little screen. Pretty compact little device. So plug one in there, not that. And I'll repeat the process for the other ones. You don't need to see me do that, do you? Right, that's all the units in there. Let's plug a thing in the power. I haven't done this yet. Using my own cable. There we go, it's booting up. There you go, there's the Lex tube. You see that? I might do that again, a bit closer so you can see it. Cool, so that's the Nixie clock display. Now it does have an ESP32 on here, which is obviously the main processor. I believe it also has a Wi-Fi set up on there as well, which means you can actually get the time from the NTP server, but I don't actually know how to set it up, because as you saw, the instructions are minimal. <laughs> so it's going to take some researching, I think. Let's have a look at the buttons. So we've got left button. There we go, change month and date. Okay. You've got different formats as well. Gives you an idea of what I can do. It's because it's what it's got loaded in there is two different formats. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know. <laughs> let's have a look. Set time. Let's try that, shall we? So, left and right arrows. Change which one you want to select. Let's do that again. Here we go. Right. Oh. Ah. Oh. This changes what it does. Okay, um, 
Right, I forgot to do this. I shall come back, I think. So, menu, select time. Right. That's got some debouncing issues going on there. Anyway, that might require some looking. Month. Give me this debouncing. Anyway, that's okay. That's out now. See, it went up by two, is it when I did one push? Yeah, no, I'll set this up and I'll come back. I've got it set up. That was actually relatively straightforward. I don't know about the ESP32 using the Wi-Fi stuff yet. I mean, I know it's doable. I think there's actually an app you can use for this. I've downloaded the information, but it's all based on a PC and I use a Mac. So, not much use to me. So I'm going to be relying on a real-time clock, I think, to, uh, to save the date and time. Because I think it can actually do NTP time with the ESP32. You put it onto your network. Let's actually do the screen pills. Because that's basically ready. Okay, let's put the little covers on. So something this actually has is RGB LEDs on the back of the modules. So the whole thing will actually light up and you can actually control those colours and things like that. So let's spin this around. On the back is the RGB LEDs. Now I've got it set to rainbow right now, which is like the default setting anyway. So it just phases through colours and you actually change the brightness of these LEDs or turn them off altogether or set them to a permanent colour or have them pulsing. I don't know what it shows up on camera with all my lighting and stuff. But obviously that will give you a, a rear glow. I don't know, you can see it quite well from the side maybe. Maybe you can see it from there. Get your focus. Yeah, maybe. That's all configurable in the settings. So let's have a look at these settings again. So, set time, I've already done. 24 hour time. Set style. Now this has got two styles installed. So three styles installed. So your retro, which you're already using. Punk and DIY. You can actually install other ones. There's lots of other ones available. And you can even make your own if you want. It's just an image file. You just have 10 image files and it will display them. So you actually can get other ones from the LexTube website is. Power button to exit. So styles, RGB on and off. You probably see the glow changing actually when I do that. We've got the brightness setting here. You just push the mode button each time and it changes by 10%. Right, 100% on and nothing. So it's going to leave 50% for now. And set RGB, which means we can change what it is. So all the same mode. So it's all the same colours. Single mode. You can change the colours each one. So they have different colours across each digit. Rainbow mode, which is what it's currently on. It cycles between them. Chasing mode, which means it will go from one to the next. You can see, I don't know, maybe you can see on the back of my hand there. It's running across each one. It's just fading across all of them. I don't know if you care about RGB stuff. I really don't know. Breathe mode is one that just pulses on and off. Exit out of there. Looks nice enough. But let's say there is software for this for the PC. I can't try that out because I have a Mac. But you can do all sorts of things like load new digits on, you can put your own digits in there and things like that. Set up the Wi Fi so it automatically syncs the time with NTP so you don't have to worry about you know the time going out when you get a, a daylight saving time change or something like that. I have a place to put this. Looks pretty cool. Thanks a lot, PC Way, for sending this to me. And of course, the free pen. Always send me a free pen, it's always nice. Use lots of pens. I'll put links down below for PC Way for this particular device to their page where you can purchase this and probably also to the LexTube website which has got information which is obviously the original manufacturer of this thing they have extra things you can do like the actual software and what have you check out our videos down below subscribe if you're not already subscribed I'll catch you later